In the 2010s, a wave of startups emerged, each racing to bring air taxis to major cities around the world. Today, their plans are coming to fruition. If they succeed, traveling in major cities will transform dramatically in the coming years. Please subscribe. Hey, AV, the future is now. Are you ready to be the next one on board? Yang has first mover advantage in the urban air mobility space due to its early focus on full autonomy. To sum up, an AAV flies with an AI-based command and control system to achieve autonomous takeoff, landing, and cruising throughout the whole flight. That's right, it's fully autonomous. Its EH216S is a two-passenger, fully electric, autonomous aerial vehicle. Passengers simply select their destination and the taxi handles takeoff, navigation, and landing on its own. Yang recently delivered 10 new air taxis to Zishan Tourism in Taiwan. The air taxis completed their first passenger flight, marking the start of their use. Founded in 2014, Yang is based in China but has established a presence in international markets including Europe and Southeast Asia. The company has partnered with local governments and private operators to deploy urban air mobility networks. The EH216S is designed for passenger transport, logistics, and smart city management. Its sleek design features a large canopy for passengers to enjoy the view. It's equipped with 16 independent rotors mounted on eight arms for stability and safe flight. With a payload capacity of 485 pounds, the H216S reaches speeds up to 130 kilometers per hour and altitudes of 500 meters. Its multi-redundant backup system means if one component fails, another one takes over. The aircraft also has advanced sensors and communication system, so it can automatically navigate and maintain stability. Ehang's control centers monitor the flights, providing additional oversight and support as needed. Ehang initially gained attention for its consumer drones. If you don't want to break the bank, the Ehang Ghost Drone 2.0 VR is a very good starting point. It comes in at a fraction of the cost of other 4K camera drones and it packs in some cool toys and features for you to play around with. The company later pivoted to larger autonomous aerial vehicles for urban transport. Ehang has been a trailblazer in the nascent eVTOL industry, completing more than 20,000 test flights globally. The company has passed several key regulatory hurdles with China authorizing the mass production of the EH216S. Yihang plans to follow the EH216S with models offering longer ranges and higher passenger capacities. California-based Joby Aviation has been developing its eVTOL technology for over a decade. Founded in 2009, the company is pushing to begin commercial operations in 2025. Joby has partnered with Uber to integrate its ride-hailing app, giving it a competitive advantage with easy accessibility. The Joby aircraft will initially be piloted with plans to develop autonomous capabilities in the future. The eVTOL can carry up to five people, including the pilot. The Joby aircraft stands out for its high speed, reaching up to 200 miles per hour and long range of 150 miles. It's fully electric with quick battery charging. The company says it's working closely with the FAA to obtain all the necessary certifications for a 2025 launch. German aerospace manufacturer Volocopter expects to deploy its eVTOL in 2025. The Velocity, its two-passenger aircraft, has conducted successful demo flights in major cities like Singapore, Paris, and Dubai. The air taxi will initially be piloted with future plans for autonomous operation. Focusing on short urban flights, the Velocity features a modular design that reaches up to 58 miles per hour. Its range is 22 miles. The Velocity is fully electric with quick swappable batteries to minimize downtime. Volocopter, founded in 2011, has been developing the aircraft for over a decade. For safety, the aircraft has a multi-redundant system, including independent flight control systems. While developing the Velocity, the manufacturer has been working with cities building infrastructure called Voloports for landing and takeoff. The company says it's actively working with European aviation authorities to get certified to launch commercially in 2025. Volocopter planned to officially launch in Paris in time for the 2024 Olympics, but regulatory hurdles made it impossible. 
And on the up, you're looking at the takeoff of a flying taxi by Archer Aviation, which says it can ferry passengers from places like New York's JFK Airport to Manhattan in just a matter of minutes. The EV. California based Archer Aviation plans to launch its air taxi in time for the 2026 World Cup in Los Angeles. Archer says its EVTOL, Midnight, will help alleviate the city's notorious traffic issue. The air taxi would also be operational for when the City of Angels hosts the 2028 Summer Olympics. Founded in 2018, Archer has been developing the four-passenger aircraft designed for short-haul flights since its inception. With a fixed-wing design and 12 rotors, Midnight has a top speed of 150 miles per hour and a 60-mile range. The fully electric air taxi has fast recharging capabilities. It will be piloted at launch with plans to gradually introduce autonomous features. The company has partnered with major airlines like United Airlines, which has ordered 200 of the aircraft with an option to buy an additional 100. This pilotless helicopter is planned for deployment over European cities in 2026. It's called NE Copter, and it's being developed by Austrian startup FlyNow Aviation. The chopper follows set routes instead of flying fully autonomous which FlyNow says makes it safer and easier to get through regulators. Set routes are predetermined paths, while autonomous flying means the aircraft decides its paths in real time. FlyNow says the copter's design is minimalist and cheaper to produce than other aircraft in its class. It will start carrying cargo in 2026, with the eventual plans to provide passenger transport. According to reports, FlyNow plans to use thousands of helicopters for transporting cargo and passengers at the Riyadh Expo 2030 in Saudi Arabia. Germany-based Lilium is developing an eVTOL aiming for longer distances than other air taxis. The Lilium jet is a five-passenger aircraft capable of speeds up to 186 miles per hour. It has a range of 155 miles. It's powered by 36 electric ducted fans that provide vertical lift and horizontal thrust. The jet has been in development since Lilium was founded in 2015. Lilium plans to deliver its first electric air taxis to customers by 2026. They are actively testing the aircraft to ensure it meets safety standards and is ready for commercial use. It will be piloted at launch with potential for autonomous capabilities down the line. Vertical Aerospace, based in the UK, is aiming for rapid commercial viability with its VX4 air taxi. Founded in 2016, Vertical is focusing on integrating with existing transportation networks for launch. The VX4 is a four-passenger eVTOL that reaches speeds up to 200 miles per hour. Its range is up to 100 miles. The fully electric aircraft has been in development since Vertical's founding. The company is partnering with major airlines like American Airlines and Virgin Atlantic to leverage existing infrastructure to scale. Vertical hopes to deploy the aircraft commercially in 2025. It will be piloted with future plans to explore autonomous capabilities as tech and regulations advance. In China, Autoflight is developing eVTOLs intended for longer intercity flights rather than just short urban hops. Its flagship aircraft, the Prosperity One, is designed to transport five passengers up to 155 miles at speeds up to 124 miles per hour. The aircraft uses a combination of vertical lift rotors and a fixed wing for efficient forward flight. Headquartered in Shanghai, Autoflight has been developing the fully electric eVTOL since its inception in 2017. The aircraft is positioned to be the first intercity eVTOL option in China. The company hopes to deploy the eVTOL by 2026. Like most air taxis in development, the Prosperity will initially be piloted with plans to integrate autonomous tech in the future. California-based Whisk Aero aims to deploy the first four passenger air taxis by 2030. The company was founded in 2019 as a partnership between Boeing and Kitty Hawk. It flies at speeds up to 100 miles per hour with a range of 25 miles. Whisk has completed over 1,500 test flights and is working with the FAA on regulations. The company plans to first deploy its air taxis in New Zealand with future expansion to the US and other regions. 